Game number four of the World Series between the Cincinnati Reds and the Tampa Bay Rays. The series has been good so far. Games one and two won by the Reds. Game number three last night here at the Trop in Tampa Bay, Florida won by the Tampa Bay Rays. All three games are linked in the description down below, so go check those out along with every other 55 Reds episodes here on the channel. I guess this is episode number 56, but let's get into it. Reds and Rays here for game number four. The Reds will turn to their lefty on the bump in Nick Lodolo. And for the Rays, they will send out another former Phillies pitcher who we will see in just a few moments. But yeah, game three won by the Rays by a score of six to five. We thought that the Reds had it. After that three run home run by Bryce Harper, you thought that the Reds were gonna take a commanding three to nothing lead, but the Rays did storm back. And yes, Nick Pavetta will be on the mound tonight. A night after Zach Eflin took the bump for game number three. So a huge one here. Of course, games of four and five played in Tampa Bay. The Reds are trying to make sure that this series does not go back to Cincinnati because if they can win these next two, of course, the series is over and the Reds are world champions. But the Rays have something to say about it. Folks, this is game number four of the Fall Classic here in 2026. And if you have not yet, though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below for some more Reds franchise mode here on the channel every single day day. Nick Pavetta. So far this postseason, 4.35 ERA over 10 and a third pitched. He will see the leadoff man, Ellie De La Cruz, who has struggled a little bit. And yeah, that's kind of the definition of struggling. Swinging at a pitch that hit him. Nice. TJ Friedel comes up and he will pop out to the second baseman right there on Caminero. We've got two outs for the three spot. Bryce Harper batting 462 in the playoffs. And my goodness, he does it again. Caminero cannot bring that one in. Bryce Harper is on with a two out infield single. And now on a 3-2 pitch, he's going. Look at Kyle Tucker in right field. It's off the wall. Harper is again running on the pitch and he will score. One nothing Reds just like that. And that's how quickly this offense can strike. It's one nothing Reds as Teoscar Hernandez will take a horrible swing at the slider, but we automatically give Nick Lodolo a lead. And for Lodolo, pitched one game in Arizona, 1.5 ERA. He pitched game number four of that series in the NLCS, and he'll come in and immediately give up a huge shot to left field by Byron Buxton. So Buxton with one swing has matched what that dangerous Diamondbacks lineup did to Lodolo in the NLCS. This game with one swing of the bat is knotted up at one run apiece. So we were wondering where Buxton was earlier in this series. Finally arriving, of course, he'll be in the leadoff spot against left-handed pitching as Lodolo will get a Rosarena to ground out to third base. Here comes Yandy Diaz, strike three, look and pitch away. Two gone, here comes Wisdom, the former Chicago Cub, and the designated hitter is going to fly out into center field over to T. Jay Friedel on to the top of the second. My controller's battery is low, and Will Benson will strike out on that slider up and in. Here comes Spencer Sears. Swing and miss on the slider. Pavetta doing well so far after giving up that double to Tucker. Here comes Shea Langoliers, though. Right field, it's out of here. Shea Langoliers was hitless. 0 for 10 going into that at bat in the World Series. He finally gets one. It's his third of the postseason, 377 feet, hitless no more. Shea won for 11 now in the World Series, but more importantly, has given the Reds a two to one lead. Matt McLean will ground out to his fellow second baseman in Junior Caminero to end the top of the second, but the Reds retake the lead as Latopla Dolo can really settle in. He'll strike out Paredes on that pitch down and away. Here comes Jake Ryan. Rodgers, though, the former Detroit Tiger, and the power hitting catcher will go deep on Lodolo, deep left field, it's out of here. 2-2 Two -two game, as Rodgers will hit his first postseason home run. What you can do about it? The solo home runs can't kill you, but this game is tied. Drew Gilbert on the 1-1 pitch, now going to put one into the gap. Gilbert might have extra bases, he will. Hernandez going to dive for it to no avail. It's going to be a two-out double here for the eighth spot in Drew Gilbert. Caminero had a big hit last night. Tonight, he'll strike out in that circle change to start off his game. We go to the top of the third. Ellie De La Cruz now 0 for 2 at two strikeouts. TJ Friedel on the 3-2 pitch. Got him! Friedel, deep right field. Stay fair ball. It will. TJ Friedel with a solo home run. It's 3-2. So four of the five runs scored by both teams so far tonight are solo shots. Shea Langliers goes yard. Byron Buxton goes yard. Jake Rogers. And now TJ Friedel. Friedel finally hits his first of the postseason, 373 feet. I mean, again, he's been so dominant. Him and Harper. Friedel came into today batting 396. 
Harper 462. Bryce will ground out, making him one for two on the night. But Kyle Tucker is going to get one to fall into left field. We will take it. Tuck is on with a two out single, bringing up Teosco Hernandez. Hernandez chops one pass at the third baseman, but a great play right there by the shortstop Carson Williams to put the lead runner out at second base. We go to the bottom of the third. Will this be the inning? Lodolo gets a shutdown inning and really settles down. He gets Buxton to strike out. He'll now get a Rosarena to, to ground out to Ellie De La Cruz. And now we'll get Yandy Diaz in the 2 1 pitch. And Diaz has been somewhat neutralized so far in this World Series and he will fly out into center field. So we now move on to the fourth inning and just like that, Pavetta's day is done. Here comes Iriarte, 1.74 ERA so far in this postseason. He'll get Will Benson to strike out yet again. Spencer Steer will lift that slider into left field, but it will be caught and hang up for the left fielder out there in Randy Rosarena. Shea Langlier is in the 1-1 pitch, and this one will be flown out into center field. And this will be the first inning where the Reds haven't scored tonight. So it's 3-2 going into the bottom of the fourth. Lodolo, obviously, low, somewhat low pitch count so far. This is, this is his 62nd pitch. He's going to get wisdom to pop out to Shea Langoliers. We'll have one out now for the five spot in Isaac Pereiras on the 1-2 pitch. Swearing and a miss. Circle change down the way by Lodolo. Sets him down. Jake Rogers on the 2-2 pitch. And Lodolo, I think, finally got back-to-back -back shutdown innings. We'll go on to the fifth with that 3-2 lead. Let's get some more runs, though. Matt McLean first in the 1-1 pitch. And we've done this a little bit with McLean just drag bunt for a hit it works out the nine spot now it gets Ellie De La Cruz up on the one two and Ellie three straight strikeouts but it's okay TJ Friedel comes up on the two one pitch gonna hit one the opposite way it will get down Friedel is gonna get one to the left Arosa Reina tumbles out there it's gonna score McLean Friedel to second it's a 4-2 lead for the Reds TJ Friedel consistently hitting in clutch moments puts us up four to two as Bryce Harper will fly out into center field, but it will be deep enough to move Friedel to third. So a huge spot. Kyle Tucker is two for two in this game. Can he drive in another run to make it five to two? We will see here on the one-two pitch. Ooh, gets a changeup that looked good. Tucker though just grounds out to short. However, the Reds do expand their lead to four to two. We will now go on to the bottom of the fifth. Carson Williams will lead things off here for Tampa Bay. A slow roller to Ellie De La Cruz, but Ellie with that arm is going to put him away. Gilbert lines one, but straight to TJ Friedel. We've got two down at four. Caminero on the two one pitch and the Dominican will hit one past Spencer Steer, but Ellie De La Cruz, no problem. Show it off the arm. Let's go on to the sixth. Here comes Lucas Sims, 4.7 ERA so far in the postseason, over nine games pitched. He'll see Teoscar Hernandez, who has had a bad day at the plate so far. Hernandez will pop out, line out, I guess, to first. Will Benson struggled a lot as well, striking out on the slurve. And here comes Spencer Steer, grounding one to the shortstop over in Carson Williams. So a one, two, three, top of the sixth. As we go on to the bottom half of the inning, Lodolo has done very well. Right, there's a strikeout of Byron Buxton on a slurve. A Rosa Reina will hit one into the gap. Friedel cannot get there. Ranji will have himself an extra base hit. So a runner on second with one out. Lodolo is at 100 pitches. We will now go to the pen. And here comes Daniel Hudson. We just need two outs from Huddy. Hopefully he can get it. First up, it will be Yandy Diaz in the 1-1 pitch. Balls hit sharply into left, but Teoscar Hernandez has got it. So, hey, that's all we need. We just need one more out. The batter will be Patrick Wisdom on the 1-2 pitch. Got him! Wisdom cannot pull the trigger. Hudson gets him up and in. We go to the top of the seventh. Colin Poche in the game pitching. He'll strike out Shea Langoliers. Matt McLean hits one on the ground, but straight to Carson Williams at short. Just like that, Poche has got two outs. Lead off man up. It's Ellie De La Cruz. Can you just put a ball in play? He will. Still no hits in the game for Ellie. We move on to the bottom of the seventh. 4-2 lead still for Cincinnati in an early appearance for Mason Miller. But when we look at the matchups, this is where we want Miller in this game. So we'll get Pereira's up first in the 1-2. There's a chopper to third. Spencer Steer charging in, and he will make the play. One gone in the inning for the sixth spot. It's Jake Rogers on the 3-2 pitch. Rogers swing and a miss. Slider away by Mason Miller. He's got all these nasty pitches, and he's going to get Carson Williams now to fly out to center. My one gripe with Mason Miller in this game is that they just didn't make his fastball fast enough. I might go and edit that. Honestly, I probably should if I can. Just because, I mean, the guy's pumping at least 102 in real life, and he's out here throwing like 98, 99. Sometimes he'll reach 100, but I mean, the guy just throws gas in real life. And 
honestly, we'll see. Again, we'll see what the future holds with him in the bullpen. We might have him be the closer of the future. I don't know. We'll see what we do with Camilo Doval. Anyways, after a Bryce Harper walk, Kyle Tucker will fly out into left field. Here comes Teoscar Hernandez on the 3-2 pitch. Harper's running again, and oh man, Teo goes perfect, perfect into left field, and for the second time in this game, the Rays have been burnt on a 3-2 pitch with Bryce Harper running. It's a 5-2 lead now for the Reds as they'll go back to the pen. They will pull Clevenger in favor of Kevin Kelly. He'll see Will Benson. High breaking curveball. Benson belts that one to right field. Here comes 75 speed Teoscar Hernandez to the plate. Buxton though. Oh, he gets him. Byron Buxton with a great throw to the plate. We go on to the bottom of the eighth. Here comes Gregory Soto, 3.86 ERA again playing the matchup. So we'll get Drew Gilbert first. And this is the guy we want him to get here. Yeah, and he's gonna get ahead. Yikes, because now here comes Caminero on the 1-1 pitch. Caminero will pull that fastball. See, the thing is, Soto throws kind of harder than Miller in this game, which is kind of ridiculous, but it's fine. It's going to be a fly out in the left field. Here comes the leadoff man at Buxton on the 1-1 pitch. He will fly it into center field. Now we have a, you know, kind of a problem. Do we keep Soto in for Rosarena or do we go to Camilo Doval? I'll keep Soto in. We should have gone to Camilo Doval. I mean, maybe Duvall does the same thing, but a Rosarena strikes one in the left field, and this is a now a one-run game. A Rosarena's fifth of the playoffs, 371 feet, and it's a 5-4 game. So now we go to Duvall to get Yandy Diaz. Now, is Duvall coming out here for the save? Eh, you'll see. But he needs to get Diaz on the 2-2 pitch. Duvall will give him the sink, and there is your final out. So we go into the ninth, We'll see if Duvall comes back out, but first let's see if we can get some insurance runs. Steer in a 3-2 pitch. He had to swing at that one. It's going to be flown out into right to Byron Buxton. Here comes Shane Langliers in the 1-1 pitch. Did he do it again? Almost identical spot. That one's a lighter though. Oh, and it's out of here. Slight voice crack, but it's fine. Shane Langliers, second of the game, fourth of the playoffs. He's got two hits in the World Series. He's what, two for 12? Two for 13. They're both home runs. 376 feet off the bat for former Sacramento Athletic. Shea Langoliers makes this game now 6-4. A huge extra run here for Cincinnati as Matt McClain will strike out. Ellie De La Cruz in the 1-1 pitch. Gonna try to drag bunt, but like, what are we doing? It's fine. Bottom nine time. We're bringing in Hunter Green. The Cy Young's gonna come out for the save. He will not have to pitch if needed until game six. We will have an extra day, of course, of travel to that game six. And oh my goodness, Ellie De La Cruz takes one away from Patrick Wisdom with the dive. And now Green will get Paredes to pop out to Shea. Just like that, the Rays are down to their final out. It's gonna be Jake Rogers on the one-two pitch. Oh my goodness, Hunter Green. Nine pitches, three outs. That's your ball game. The Cincinnati Reds win game number four here on the road at the Trop. And now they are one game away from winning the World Series and becoming world champions. But the mindset behind bringing out Hunter Green right there is, okay, this is a bullpen day anyways. He's not going to pitch game five, obviously. So yeah, game five tomorrow. If we need a game six, there's a rest day of travel, obviously. And then at that game six, it's three days away. You can throw him for, again, one inning tonight and he did the job, and we didn't have to have a scare by Camilo Doval throwing the baseball. So I think it's a win all around. The Reds win this one by a score of six to four. They take a commanding three to one series lead here in the 2026 World Series as they will try to finish the job tomorrow night. So folks, thank y'all for watching episode number 56 of the Cincinnati Reds franchise mode here on MLB The Show 24. If you haven't yet though, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Make sure to leave a like if you did enjoy the video. Again, folks, thank y'all for watching, and Mamba forever.